Hey guys, welcome to Data Academy. Oliver here. Today we're going to learn about the print function in Python. So first of all, what does the function do? Well, the print function gives us a way so the user can see the output of a program. And to use it, we say print, and then after inside parentheses, we write what we want to print. So our very first program just says, welcome to Data Academy. And when we run that, it just shows welcome to Data Academy in our shell. And one thing to keep in mind is that print is not just limited to strings. We can also print other data types and data structures. It's just going to convert it into a string before it prints it. So I'll show you how it works right here. I have a list, a tuple, a set, and a dictionary. Now you can see that it's printed in the exact form that it was declared as. Now to print multiple strings, we can concatenate them by using the addition symbol between every string, or we can use the comma. Now what's the difference? Let's find out. You can see that in the first one, there's no spaces between every string. And if we wanted to do that, we would have to manually go inside and put a space after at the end of every string. However, if we do commas between them, it automatically gives us a space. There's two parameters that I want to show you. The first one is the separator parameter. We write it as SEP for separator, and we put that after a comma equals the value. And by default, the value of the separator is a space. If we change it to nothing, it's going to separate every string by, as you guessed, nothing. So let's take a look what that outputs. There's no spaces in the middle. We can change this to a string as well. And now it's going to say apple between every single string. If I wanted to print every string on a new line, I could also change this to a new line character, which is backslash and then n. And finally, we have the end parameter and we write it as end equals the value after a comma within the function. By default, the end parameter is a new line, which is I just showed you a backslash and then n. If we take this away, it's going to display both these strings on the same line. Hello, my name is Oliver and there is no new line. However, we can change this to maybe one, two, three, four, five. And now let's see what happens. It's going to say one, two, three, four, five between our two strings. And if we wanted to have three spaces in between, we could do it this way. And now it goes new line, new line, new line until it prints the second string, which is there is no new line. I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.